I love him. I have forgiven him. We are moving forward. As embattled New York mayoral candidate Anthony Weiner continues his political bid despite a recently resurfaced sexting scandal, his wife Huma Abedin's decision to stand by him has been sliced and diced and super analyzed by political pundits and women who question the decision. Dina Matos is in a unique position to understand the current dilemma of Weiner's wife. In 2004, her ex-husband, Jim McGreevy, resigned as governor of New Jersey after revealing that he'd had an affair with another man he'd appointed to office. So my truth is that I am a gay American. She stood beside him during that speech, and she joins us now. Your situation was obviously very different than Uma Abedin's, um, although you were both in the very unenviable position of, of having been hurt deeply by someone that you loved. When, when you're in the private sphere, you can, you can cry, you can lash out, you can throw things if you want to. All of us know what that's like, probably at some point in our life, but when you're in the public eye, not many people have to do what you all did, which is to go and stand there before the world next to somebody who has hurt you. W what goes through your head in a moment like that? Are you, are you in a fog? Yes. Yeah. Um, for me, especially because I didn't have the advantage of time. It all happened within a few days, and I didn't even know up to you know, a half hour before my husband went on television um, what he was going to say. So. Um, I was really in a state of shock. Um, you know, I've compared it to a, an out-of-body experience because I really was there, and you know, physically, but mentally, I I wasn't. And when you walked off that day, I mean, did you think to yourself, "I'm still glad that I went up there with him"? Did you have second thoughts in the moment? No, no. I did not. It was only much later that I was able to reflect back on what had happened. You know, they, they talk about Huma and others who have been in her position as if she were um, an inanimate object. Mm -hmm. She's not. She's a real person, a human being with real feelings. What do you say when a w the wife goes to bat for the husband, despite the fact that he, he has lied to the very people he wants to rep mm -hmm. represent? What do you say to that? Well, you know, I, it, our situations are a little bit different. Sure. So, um, you know, with respect to his candidacy, if I were him, I'd, I'd step out of the race because, you know, he continues to humiliate his family. And you know, whatever reason she has for standing by him, you know, that's a very private decision. It's a decision you make in the moment. And as with any other marriage, um, people criticizing her for standing by him, how many spouses stand by, you know, their husbands or wives in the face of, you know, unfaithfulness or, or other issues? Does being in the public eye, and, and I ask this, never having been there in your shoes, but does that in some ways make you want to stand by somebody even more perhaps because just so many people are focused laser-like on you? When you enter, you know, into a political marriage or you, you marry someone who's in a high-powered position, CEO of a large corporation, you understand that, you know, the rules are, are a little bit different and there are certain expectations. Obviously, in public, it was my duty, I think, as a wife, unless right. he did something illegal, to right. support him. Right. And I, I believe that's true of others as well. Would you support him now if he ran for office in some capacity again? Absolutely not. You would no. not? And no. is it because of your personal situation or other reasons? Well, I, you know, I, I think people are, are too forgiving of politicians who, um, you know, lack a moral compass. And I think, you know, perhaps we've set the standard too low. Right. Because, I mean, you look at Elliot Spitzer, what he did was illegal. I right. mean, what Anthony Weiner did was dumb, stupid, but it wasn't illegal. I think, you know, we have to look at their character and determine whether or not, you know, this is someone that we want to put in a position of power. There seems to be a lot good ha happening to your ex-husband right now. There's this new HBO documentary out called Fall to Grace. Have you, have you seen that? I have not. W will you see it? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, he's become a spiritual advisor to women in prison. He attended divinity school. He recently got a major post um, with the mayor of Jersey City. It's hard enough in any relationship, right, when you break up and then good things go on to happen to the person, especially if they hurt you. I wonder, you see all this personally, you've obviously gone on and had, you're having success yourself in your new job, you had your book out, Silent Partner, but is that even harder to watch all this publicity about your ex-husband? Um, it's hard to watch because 
I know the real person and I know what he's still doing and his behavior privately. So, um, you know, it, it's a farce and I know it. Whatever he wants to do with his life is fine as long as, you know, it doesn't impact me. But, you know, that's not the reality. When you say his private life, what do you mean by what do you mean by that? Just, you know, how what his character is. His character hasn't changed. And, you know, he can do all the divinity school he wants, but his character is still flawed. Would you ever, and I don't know if you are now or not, but would you ever consider dating someone who's in the public eye, who is seeking public office um, in that way <laughs> again? Um, I guess you know, one should never say never, but no, not, I would not seek that, absolutely not. And before we go, do you have any parting words of advice for Huma Abedin? Just stay true to yourself. Don't listen to your critics because they don't know what's going on in your personal life. They don't, you know, they don't have an insight in why you've done certain things and made certain decisions. So um, just do what's right for yourself and for your family.